The left-wing gender insanity being pushed on our children is an act of child abuse. Very simple. Here's my plan to stop the chemical, physical, and emotional mutilation of our youth. On day one, I will revoke Joe Biden's cruel policies on so-called gender-affirming care. Ridiculous. A process that includes giving kids puberty blockers, mutating their physical appearance, and ultimately performing surgery on minor children. Can you believe this? I will sign a new executive order instructing every federal agency to cease all programs that promote the concept of sex and gender transition at any age. I will then ask Congress to permanently stop federal taxpayer dollars from being used to promote or pay for these procedures and pass a law prohibiting child sexual mutilation in all 50 states. It'll go very quickly. I will declare that any hospital or healthcare provider that participates in the chemical or physical mutilation of minor youth will no longer meet federal health and safety standards for Medicaid and Medicare and will be terminated from the program immediately. Further well, stop it right there. Now, that's how you do it. If you take away the funding from these hospitals that are participating in these mutilating procedures on minors, I guarantee you that we can uh, stop this problem overnight. Furthermore, I will support the creation of a private right of action for victims to sue doctors who have unforgivably performed these procedures on minor children. The Department of Justice will investigate Big Pharma and the big hospital networks to determine whether they have deliberately covered up horrific long-term side effects of sex transitions in order to get rich at the expense of vulnerable patients, in this case, very vulnerable. We will also yeah. investigate whether Big Pharma or others have illegally marketed hormones and puberty blockers, which are in no way licensed or approved for this use. My Department of Education will inform states and school districts that if any teacher or school official suggests to a child that they could be trapped in the wrong body, they will be faced with severe consequences, including potential civil rights violations for sex discrimination and the elimination of federal funding. Now, what do we send our kids to school for? Do we send our kids to school to be educated or indoctrinated? Are we sending our kids to school to have a teacher tell them that, to tell a little boy that he, that he might be a little girl trapped in a boy's body or tell a little girl that she might be trapped in a little boy's body? Is that what we want teachers telling our children? And then they're doing it or might be possibly doing it without our permission? I don't think that's what any of us send our children to school for. I definitely don't send mine to school for that. As part of our new credentialing body for teachers, we will promote positive education about the nuclear family, the roles of mothers and fathers, and celebrating rather than erasing the things that make men and women different and unique. I will ask Congress to pass a bill establishing that the only genders recognized by the United States government are male and female, and they are assigned at birth. The bill will also make clear that Title IX prohibits men from participating in women's sports, and we will protect the rights of parents from being forced to allow their minor child to assume a gender which is new and an identity without the parent's consent. Now, this is the part where we talk about protecting women. Now, we know we've seen UFC fighters um, that are supposedly trans women, or I guess they call themselves trans men or whatever you want to call them. I'm confused about the whole thing, to be honest with you. But we basically have men who are competing in UFC fights with women and beating them so bad that some of them have had um, orbital and skull fractures. We have um, male swimmers, so-called trans women, I believe you call them, breaking records. Um, and when you look at them, when you look at their record before they were actually in women's, competing in women's sports, they weren't all that good. 
But when they go into the women's category, they shoot up in it in the top five, top ten. So this is a serious issue, a very serious issue. And I believe that we believe as a country that we should protect women, that men should not be participating in sports with women. The identity will not be new and it will not be without parental consent. No serious country should be telling its children that they were born with the wrong gender, a concept that was never heard of in all of human history. Nobody's ever heard of this, what's happening today. It was all when the radical left invented it just a few years ago. Under my leadership, this madness will end. Thank you very much. Many of you don't care for Donald Trump, and that's your prerogative. But at the end of the day, you know, focus on the message. Is this the right thing to do? Is protecting our women and children the right thing to do? Ask yourself that question. When we send our children to school, we don't want teachers teaching them about homosexuality. But most of all, we don't want them teaching them about sex, period. That's not what we send our kids to school for. They shouldn't be coming up with, with, with curriculum and then adding LGBTQ theory to the curriculum to teach our young children. Because really, to be honest with you, it's grooming them for this type of lifestyle when you do that. Women shouldn't be competing in sports with men. I mean, at what point in this country do we just say to hell with women? And we always hear the left, Democrats, always talk about protect our women, protect women's rights. But at the same time, you're allowing women, men, excuse me, to go and use the washroom and shower with women. Is that protecting women? You also are allowing women, oh, excuse me, men to compete with women in sports. And we have women that are, are, are getting skull fractures from getting beat in USC fights by men who claim to be women. That's not protecting women. So no matter whether you support Donald Trump or not, I think this was a great message. And I believe that if he could get any of these things passed, I would respect it. I mean, I don't consider myself to be a Republican, but I do believe in conservative values. I mean, which I believe, to be honest with you, most black people do. Um, because of our church upbringing, we have conservative values. But at the end of the day, if we don't stand up for women and children in our country, then who will? Thank you all for watching this video. I appreciate you supporting the channel. If you want to see me continue to do videos like this, I need you to do me a favor. And this favor is going to cost you zero dollars and zero cents. Like, comment, share with a friend. That's what you can do for me. God bless. Y'all have an absolutely wonderful week. See you soon.